Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Today I just thought we might do something fun because it's apple season, but also something completely different from all of the Apple Watch unboxings that have been going on on YouTube lately. I am wearing my Series 9 and I am trying out the new Reflections watch face in a color that matches very nicely with my leather watch band that I'm currently wearing. I have a video about this watch band and I will link it down below. The full screen version of the Reflections watch face looks so much better but I am no longer used to wearing a watch that can only tell the time so I put four complications on here. Still pretty but not as pretty as the full screen version of the Reflections watch face. And by the way there is a screen cover on the series 9 which I showed in a previous video but none on my old series 2 so there's a lot of scratch marks and scuff marks on this one. This is a very old watch. I purchased this brand new in January of 2017 and it's the one and only watch that I have been using since that day 24-7 except of course when I'm charging it. And the aluminum body is already badly corroded. That is not dirt that you can see. That is corrosion. The Series 2 came with a black silicone sport band and it was very smooth and soft when it was brand new. But now it has these small shallow pits on the surface. I don't know for sure what cost this, but I suspect it's cost by all of the disinfectant spray that everyone has been using during the COVID years. The watch came with a full set of the silicone band. It came with this small medium band that I always wear. And it also came with a medium large band that I never thought I would need. <laughs> but I did end up wearing this medium large band around 2019 or 2020 when I gained so so much weight that the small medium band became too small for me. And I found the original box of my series 2. It just got a little bit smushed on this part because I did not store this properly. But aside from that, the box is still in decent condition. The only marking on the outside of the box is on this end, which says Apple Watch Series 2, 38mm case, space gray aluminum, sport band black. And the only other part that has markings is the bottom of the box. Inside the box, I kept the part of the outer plastic wrapping that had the price tag attached. It says 21,990 Philippine pesos, but I know I did not pay that much. I paid less because of the discount that the owner of the store gave me because I was a member of the super old Philippine Macintosh users group from the early 2000s. All members got a discount from his store. Inside the box is this sleeve that contains some paperwork and instructions on how to put on and wear the band in different languages. And this here is the holder for the medium large silicone band. I don't exactly remember how these tabs worked, but maybe they were supposed to keep the band from sliding in and out like this. And I am just going to place them all back into the sleeve that they originally came in. Now this is the cradle for the watch itself, but underneath are the compartments for the charger set. The charging puck came wound inside this little cardboard thing and had this semi-transparent protective cover that still is sticky. The round part of the charger, I mean the puck part, came covered on the top and the bottom and the sides. And the puck was nestled in this cardboard holder with the cable wound below it and inside this cardboard sleeve that had a tear out tab to sort of unseal. I don't have the original Apple Watch charger anymore from 2017, so I have nothing to replace back here. And this, this is where the actual Apple charger socket used to be. <laughs> Do you remember the era when Apple used to care about us and made sure that we had everything we needed in a single set? Those days are gone now, but I have here evidence that that time used to exist. Now when it comes to the watch and the phones, Apple just leaves us to fend for ourselves when it comes to charging devices and we in turn continue to support Apple despite that. <laughs> No, I'm not really complaining. It's all right. Times change. Technologies change. 
companies change and everyone is doing fine. But it just feels a little bit nostalgic to see once again these special containers or compartments for the charger and the cable. Okay, now the watch itself came already attached to the short band and it came with this semi-transparent wrapping. And I do have to switch the placement of the bands because I use the reverse crown position, which I talked about in a previous video, which I will link down below. I can still feel a little bit of the adhesive on this paper cover. It's still a little bit sticky, but actually does not stick anymore. And that is how the watch was cradled inside the box. The sleeve containing the longer band was on top of it. And that is my Apple Watch Series 2 back in its original box after about seven and a half years. And this plastic piece was from the plastic that wrapped the entire box, but the part with the price tag was at the bottom like this. And just for comparison, here is the box of my Apple Watch Series 9. I unboxed the Series 9 last May on my channel and I will link it down below. The new packaging is so much smaller. It is shorter and it is flatter. The difference in size is very dramatic. I'm already on the Series 9 now, as you know, but the Series 2 has been with me through so, so much, so, so much, and I actually still wear it whenever I'm charging my Series 9. I will never be able to let this watch go, and I want to keep it alive for as long as I can. I even have a little stand for it. This one is not connected to a power source. The puck is here just to keep the watch in place. When I need to charge the watch, I place it on the other stand that is connected to a power source. But otherwise, this is always on its own stand. The other stand is what I use to charge my Series 9 as well. And that is my little video for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please let me know by subscribing and leaving a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.